Lucy 语言家教 Welcome to Lucy Language Tutoring. I'm Scott, and this is Lucy. Real English, no textbooks, no classrooms. Today's lesson was produced in Taiwan's capital city of Taipei. Please listen to this recording while reading the lesson. Enjoy today's lesson. It's all coming right now from Lucy Language. Logos are symbols that companies use to identify themselves. Logos are usually small, but not always. In the window of every Starbucks is a big green logo. All companies have logos, so they must be important. Let's learn more about logos. Logos give a unique identity to companies. They are so important that companies often have more than one logo. For example, Apple has many logos. On the left is their company logo, and below that is a product logo. This one is for Mac OS. Logos are more than pictures. A good logo tells us a story about its company or product. Logos should be. Instantly recognized. For this reason, companies don't like to change their logos too often. But there is another interesting thing about logos. If you look carefully at some logos, you might see something more hiding inside. Take a second look at the Mac OS logo. Do you see one face, two faces? Or three faces. Let's see what's hiding in some other famous logos. Take a close look at the Northwest Airlines logo. Find the circle on the left side. Now, can you see how the W becomes an N? Also, in the upper left part of the W is an arrow. Now, when you look at the circle again, it might look like a compass. Since north is up, we see that the arrow is pointing northwest. Of course. Next, let's look at the Toblerone logo. Toblerone has been making chocolate in the Swiss city of Bern since 1899. I'll tell you two things about this city. There are some very beautiful mountains there, and the city's nickname is. The city of bears. Okay, now can you find two things in Toblerone's logo that are related to the city of Bern? The FedEx logo looks like a text logo, but if you take a second, more careful look between the E and the X, you'll see an arrow. FedEx says that this arrow represents. Speed and accuracy. They're both important because FedEx must deliver packages quickly and without mistakes. Speed and accuracy are the two primary reasons businesses use FedEx. The Amazon logo seems very simple, but look again. The arrow is more than just a yellow smile. It actually points from a. To Z. This means that Amazon sells everything from A to Z. Amazon says that the yellow arrow represents the smile on their customer's face when they buy a product from them. So the Amazon logo tells us about Amazon's goal, which is to make customers happy. This isn't the current Apple logo. But it has an interesting story to tell. If it is an apple, it should be red, or maybe green. But look, unlike any real apple, their logo is a rainbow. Apple says the reason for the colorful rainbow logo was obvious, but perhaps not these days. Think about computers in the 1970s. They didn't have color screens, 
So when Apple started selling a new computer with a color screen, they wanted everybody to know. That's why the rainbow Apple logo was made. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed the lesson. To purchase a copy of today's lesson, including the audio recording, a PDF of the lesson, and answer key, send email to lucylanguage at icloud.com for more details. Lucy, 语言家教。